In this video we're going to be using Autodesk Inventor to make ourselves a simple 2x1 thin Lego base plate, which looks like this. Let's do a quick fly around. Not much to it. Okay, so let's just get straight into it and knock this over quickly. So we'll go to our file menu and make a new document. Start with a metric template and a standard millimetre inventor part. From there we're going to start a 2D sketch and stick it on the bottom plane there, or the base plane, which is the XZ plane. And we're simply going to draw out a rectangle that's 8 by 16. So come out of the origin and just write 8 by 16, press enter, and finish your sketch. We're going to extrude that a total of 3 millimeters, and click OK. We're then going to start another 2D sketch and put it on the top face of our Lego brick. And we're simply going to draw ourselves a circle, which is 4mm in diameter. Doesn't matter where it's located. Okay, once you've got it drawn, grab your dimension tool from the ribbon, click on the center of the circle, click on the top face of that rectangle and drag out to the left, and make it a 4mm dimension. Do the same again, but this time clicking on the center of the circle and the left edge of the shape. Drag up the top and type in 4mm. Okay, and that will... Put your circle 4mm from each side of the um, rectangle. What we're going to do now is just simply click on the rectangular pattern to repeat that shape. Okay, so click on that circle. And for the direction, choose the top face there. You may need to flip it around and change the distance to 8mm. Okay, just make sure you've got two selected here for the count. And what that does is basically adds a second circle, the same dimensions from the edges of the um, other side of the rectangle. So we've got the two circles we need, so finish that sketch and simply extrude those two circles a distance of 1.7 millimeters. These are the little bumps that go on top of the Lego piece. Okay, flipping our Lego piece around now, we're just going to shell out the bottom of our Lego piece, so up in your ribbon choose the shell option, make it a 0 0.8 thickness and click on the bottom face. Click OK when you're done. You can see that's just shelled out the bottom or hollowed out the bottom of our Lego piece. And then we're going to grab our Start 2D Sketch tool again and click on the bottom face of the Lego brick. We're simply going to draw a circle in the center here. Now to help with our guides, we're going to project some geometry onto this sketch. So click Project Geometry from our ribbon. Click on this rectangle down below and that will help the rectangle and those circles come through onto our sketch and will allow us to um, position our circle in the very center of this shape. So just hover around the center and you'll see some guides pop up to tell you when you're actually in the center. So when you're smack bang in the center, draw a circle that's 4.2 mil in diameter. Press enter, finish the sketch and simply extrude that shape there, a distance of 2 mil. Press OK. That should be our Lego piece all drawn. It's looking pretty good. Just add a bit of color to it now by going up to the appearance panel at the top, which is that little color wheel. Click and drag over the top of your Lego brick and just search for a color. I'm going to choose a white color for this one. That one will do me. So when you find the color you want, hit the little up arrow on top of it. That will apply it to your shape and then you can close the appearance browser. You've now got a colored in Lego piece. Save that up when you're done and that's all we need to do to create a 2x1 flat Lego base plate. 